Um, also, I was gonna say before the crows part was, um, uh, I'm I'm not particularly great at like dissecting like shooter mechanic stuff, but um, Aaron Signal on his YouTube channel does a really really great job of breaking down how weird the mechanics are in this game. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, with the shield and the consumable health and all that. Like, um, yeah, it's kind of really interesting. You should go check it out. It's Aaron Signal on YouTube. He has a whole Bioshock Infinite episode uh, that actually just does a lot of great critique, but does a really great job with the kind of the mechanics uh, and kind of how they feel like really shaggy and weird after a while. It's just like way too much stuff that is kind of redundant. Uh, but yeah, definitely worth uh, checking out. Nice. I could always use some uh, like critical let's plays, or not even let's plays. But is there a? Got it. I'm just like hanging out behind these people with a gun. This, this is where I came in. Am I supposed to fight that officer? I can't remember. Oh god, I'm stuck oh, no. on a thing. There we go. Oh, dude, this, okay, I thought it like had an invisible wall there. I was like, wow. Invisible stair. Can you just walk in behind them? What are they doing? Are they have are they praying? Hello! <laughs> <laughs> That will never get old. <laughs> oh, he seems terrible at his job, too. This really is a, just a tale of horribly ineffective love. Just like terrible police policing. What's on that poster? Or that thing back there that you saw. Yeah, someone's getting someone's getting their picture drawn. <laughs> now he's dead. Now you've shot him to death. It sounded like they were doing a police sketch of me, and that's not me. Oh, okay. Yeah. But um It looks like that other guy from from the first Bioshock who shows up in Burial. Let's see, what is his name? Uh, Sandy? Uh, uh, the guy, the art guy? Yeah. Um, uh, why can't I remember his name? Chat, what was the guy's name? The art guy. Art the art, guy. Art guy with the mustache. One. Art man. How the fuck do I if get out of here? If you kill him, you get to use the power of art. <laughs> you get to punch a bunch of Monet paintings. Uh, uh Sander Cohen. Thank you. Cohen. Uh, he was actually my favorite part of Bioshock 1. Oh, he's so uh, good. Oh. Yeah, he's great. See, that's actually why I like Bioshock 2, because uh, Bioshock 1, like, had, like, that moment where it just kind of was like, wow, this is, like, the weird, interesting part. Like, Bioshock 2 just embraced that for its second half. Lady, uh, how do I... There? How do I get out of yeah. here? <laughs> Lady, your house has no doors. <laughs> like, there's... <laughs> she just has lost all hope of leaving this room, so she's freaking out on the ground here. <laughs> I like, would have to. Is that where you came in? This is where I came I feel in. Like that's where you came in, but I'm not sure. This is where I came in. Alright. Alright, maybe I could just leave. I thought that was like a progress part. Yeah, well, there's not a lot of. Well, I guess this game actually has a lot of weird cul de sacs and dead ends. In our, um, kind of an interesting bit of design there, but usually when they do, there's like an item at the end of it or something. Um, which I did not see. Maybe you just were supposed to see that rad sketch. Yeah. Maybe you're just like, hey man, that's the reward. <laughs> that sweet ass sketch. And in finding that sketch, did we not find ourselves? No, we did not. And that's when the game ends. That's the good ending. Let's see. <laughs> I like this sketch. And then Booker decided to retire from shooting people and went to art school. <laughs> I was a professional shooter of people, but now I'm a professional, a professional drawer of people. So Lex, that's the, that's the ad for the community college that he was in. 
Lex Reed in chat says, Bioshock Infinite is the story of Booker Dewitt, a man who murders the city, eats its hot dogs, and loses tracks of doors. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yep. <laughs> Uh, Davin says, uh, why do they hook jump instead of use magic to fly? This all seems so dangerous. <laughs> right, because like flying... I, for I forgot we could read from chat. Great. Well, yeah, totally. Cool. I, I... Oh, now Austin Austin is here. The real Austin. Where is Austin Austin? Uh, Calcutech. The Calcutech. Oh, okay. Is that how you say it? I've never actually said it out loud. Calcutech. Doing stream friends, um, did the, like, it brought out the anxiety in me where I had to suddenly read people's names out loud, being like, uh -huh. oh, fuck, I've never known how to say that out loud. Yeah. XOXO Gossip Gita. But I think I got that one right. Mm. Dual hammers. I'm full on everything. I'm a fucking yeah, OG. Uh, this this game I do remember being constantly having everything. Like there not being a whole lot of scarcity. Yeah. Especially later on when Elizabeth's like, "Hey, I magic some <laughs> dinner out of the air for you." Tots. Book a catch, and you're like, "More hot dogs." I, I got a snack. I got this fruit by the foot from another dimension. <laughs> fruit by the foot. I got these shark these shark bites. It's funny, I'm pretty sure that guy said keep shooting, but I was the only one who was shooting. He did not want to lose. I hate my job, everyone's terrible in this. Keep shooting us! I am on the worst police force in history. That man literally ran, again, face first into your gun. <laughs> so again, that like all this gorgeous environment. I'm not noticing so much because it's all focused on darting around and shooting. Shit. Right. Uh, it, it encourages this like really frantic running around. But you can done with it, other than like collect. You get this thing where like all you're noticing now is the pipe. Right. Looking down Oof. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't think I've seen that one, or... I, I never saw that. Did they update the game to have more yeah. murder? Like, not having that in really ruined it. <laughs> yeah, like that statue? There's a big statue above you. Like, someone's been a long time making that. Yeah, that's beautiful. It, yeah, and you're just gonna, Aww. like, you know... Run past. What, what is she holding? Is that like a tape gun? <laughs> I was gonna say, it looks like a tape dispenser. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it, it looks like she was gonna like you know she's working back in shipping. She needs like a box cutter in the other hand, like a, like a pallet dolly. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, gotta ship this internationally. Austin says, one of the, I'm just going to read all of Austin's yeah. things. Oh. One of the reasons I actually do sort of like about this game is the, for, is the Skyline stuff, for exactly that reason, I totally butchered that sentence. It offers rad landscape shots while also the feeling of speed momentum. I agree. I actually think that visually those are some of like, that it's just a really, really great, uh, great pairing. Sorry, did you say the great pairing was the guns with the guns? Yes, I think it was the guns with uh, how sick and tired Booker is of this shit and how he's gonna, gonna take this whole damn city down. <laughs> he's supposed to retire in two days. <laughs> they pulled him right back in. Whoop. Oh, that was weird. 
at this point as a player, I was really starting to wonder what I was doing because like find the girl, but they didn't really like give you a whole lot of idea of like. At this point, I was like, I'm just kind of going forward. I, there's a girl I think I was supposed to find, but that's not really been mentioned <laughs> since the beginning. Yeah, no, they're like, go find the girl, and you're like, what? Like, I've seen several girls thus far. <laughs> <one of them. laughs> they're just like, they're, <laughs> Booker just keeps coming back with different girls. They're like, no, <laughs> no, come on, man. Yeah, no, not find a girl. Like, the first, like, 500 alternate dimension bookers, they had said, find a girl. And then they changed it to find the girl. <laughs> oh, oh, the girl. Oh, God. Okay. Hmm. Robot Skylines. Just things them coppers came running on back by the Coppers? <laughs> them coppers giving me the vapors. <laughs> <laughs> With their gams. That accent and that like like southern slang is really, really funny to me. <laughs> them coppers gave me the vapors. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I'm so sorry, dude! Jeez. I feel bad that you had like three seconds to really think about what was happening as he was sailing like terrible spinning blades in his first end of the <laughs> Alright, who's next on my shit list? Besides everybody! You. Ridiculous. And I'm also on fire. Yeah. What's up with I mean, that? serves you right, Booker. I mean, <laughs> karma. Yeah, jeez. And we sure are just pulled some switches. Right, like, jump on this thing, go to this area. Pull a switch there. Uh, which way did I come in? Did I come in from this way? Yeah, right, let's go this way. Oh, right. That's not what I wanted to do. I keep catching up on what Carla's talking about in chat, and it's all like insightful, cool stuff, uh, as she actually worked on Bioshock 2. And um, then. I, but I then I have to need to follow a conversation way back up, and I can't. <laughs> so Carla, uh, you need to write all this out in essay form and send it to me, please. Thank you. <laughs> MLA format. Yeah, <laughs> please. Okay, so I went through here, and then I owned the nerd here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you actually beat a nerd to death. Oh. I remember the first time I played this, I didn't find it as, like, impressive because I was just like, I'm gonna barf. <laughs> <laughs> and also, like, I didn't, like, know where I was going. You know kind of so anyway, like, it's not their fault, it's my fault that I sucked. There's a part later on, after you get a list. It's the part where, I think it's after the Hall of Heroes section where you have the shocking thing that, that apparently makes half of Columbia work, but there's only one of them or something. Um, hmm. Uh, but there's a part there where um, I got totally lost on this guy uh, hook thing. I just could not figure out where I needed to jump off at. Because after a while, like, while this, art, while this art direction is wonderful, like, all these buildings end up looking the same after oh, a while. Oh, totally. Uh, which makes sense, because it's all, like, you know, just, it's so impeccably designed and coordinated. But that does mean that they're, they're like, okay, which veranda do I need to jump off at? Which immaculately created uh, a Victorian rooftop do I need to uh, <laughs> leap onto? Uh... After 
where like where are you where are you even? Oh, are you on the Oh Uh someone in chat just dropped a uh, name drop uh, uh land decker as uh, a very, very, I think, clear art uh, influence, uh, illustration influence on this game, uh, you should really go check out Land Decker. Uh, what is his that? stuff is really great. It's uh, like a kind of more angular um, uh, Norman Rockwell. Uh, and also just his Wikipedia. It's kind of got, yeah, you should just head over. Um, yeah, totally go, go, go check out Land Decker. Cool. I'm people. I'm sending everyone away. Is because I'm like, go watch this thing on YouTube. Go to Wikipedia. <laughs> go watch this other channel go that's also it. streaming Bioshock Infinite right now. Go, go. They're better at. It. They're enjoying it more. Um, they have Alec right now. <laughs> yeah. We have. Uh, we have very all the all the Night in the Woods members are doing uh, Bioshock Infinite. Cross doing. Okay. Love the wind uh, speed lines going past you here. Oh god, this is like really stressful. <laughs> Do you have a thing with like roller coasters in real life? Um, kind of. Okay. Oh. Okay. oh. I wonder how long this could last. I wonder how much of these kind of call-outs to American history uh, play. Like, I wonder how, like, I, I did a lot of this kind of stuff, like, go over your head? And by go over your head, I guess I mean happen in a country that's not yours, so why the hell would you know this? <laughs> yeah, no, a lot of the stuff I was just like, I don't know, you, you can kind of get it as a trope, but not necessarily as, like, a okay. historical call-out of that. Okay, can yeah. I... Can I just go through here? You literally have to walk up and shoot these dudes. Oh no, wow, wait, why did those guys let you through? Someone should probably murder me. <laughs> guys, maybe you've just lost that murdering magic. I don't really care anymore. Literally ten guys behind me that could be shooting me right in the head right now. Right. As blood as yours. You know why these men will die for? Because I have seen their future and glory. And hence they are content. What brought you to Columbia, Booker? Booker. Bring us a girl and wipe away the debt. This will end in blood. Then again. It always does look at you, doesn't it? You've come to lead my lamb astray, but thy crook is bent and thy path is twisted. Go back to the sorrow from which you came. So, also just the kind of like throwing out of kind of like you know biblical like buzzword type stuff in here also just makes me just cringe. So right. Much. Yeah. Because it's just shorthand, and it it it's um. It's a game that is both about America and religion that is like seems fundamentally disinterested in both, like in a lot of ways, uh, beyond just kind of what it can do for to prop up kind of some uh, mechanics, which is fine. I mean, that's a valid like way of going about designing something like this. But it's just there's so much it's just so much potential here, and there's so much um, depth that just kind of gets like skimmed over. Oh, um, there's a whole th open thing right to my left. <laughs> Yeah. Holy shit. Attack his Zeppelin. Oh, I remember this. Good. 
getting sick chivos. Yeah, man. Finally. Whoa, look down. Uh, I for some reason thought the deck clipped out from under you, but that was just a blue deck. <laughs> I was like, amazing! Kill the nun. Uh, Vorpal Femme mentions that uh, growing up in a church where phrases like Sodom were utilized against people in a specific context. Uh, yeah, I would. Uh, I think that's part of the issue with this game is that they kind of get treated more like just generalized buzzwords, like shorthand for kind of a fundamentalism. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, can I just? Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! <laughs> Wait. Okay. There we go. Okay. There it is. <laughs> it's just like, come on. What the? I like fuck? The, Okay, I panicked. I jumped off the cliff. <laughs> I don't. I didn't have a plan. I like that the Zeppelin slash warning sound sounds kind of like like a Trent Reznor song. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Yeah. <laughs> um, I like how elsewhere in, in Colombia, if you look on the skyline, they're still just having a great day. Everyone's fireworks. <laughs> like, across the town, everyone's just like, gee willikers, hot dogs as far as the eye can see. <laughs> Ooh, what? Uh, oh, that's I see you there, Boodoo. I see what you're saying. What's Boodoo saying? It says, uh, where I was raised, uh, Jesus Christ means something specific, Scott. <laughs> um, actually, Boodoo, uh, made a bot, uh, on Twitter called, you can find, okay, here we go, sentence. At Praise Garnet. It's a bot that's oh, been. <laughs> Bethany was telling me about this earlier. <laughs> Tweeting at celebrities every 30 minutes to describe Garnet. Okay. Um, and so far, no like actual celebrities have responded, which is bullshit. Like, just. Yeah. All I'm asking you is to describe my fucking cat. I am following this hot account right now. <laughs> I'm going to post this link into chat. <laughs> Oh yeah, chat. I could have been chatting with you the entire time, but I wasn't. <laughs> You're busy. Hmm. Yeah, I'm busy making uh, snide comments about the work of a hundred people over three years. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone's gonna do this to my game. I just know it. It's gonna happen. Uh, the weird thing you start thinking of. Uh, you're like, oh, am I going to be able to handle the snark streams about Night in the Woods? <laughs> Do you want me to host one? <laughs> Please. Okay. Just let me tell you something about Lost Constellation. I really, so like, like, I really like, liked it. That game sucked. It was awfully good. Nah. <laughs> uh. I actually really did like it. It was great. Oh, thanks. Um, yeah, it was like five weeks, I think, start to end on production of it, so we were really happy. That's awesome. Um, we should do a uh, Night in the Woods stream friend edition and have you, Alec, and Bethany. Oh, we could, we could do that. Yeah. Well, actually, you should have a Night in the Woods stream when uh, the game comes out, and I can be on it to tell you why you're all wrong. About your <laughs> like, no, it's perfect. <laughs> actually, no, I'll probably be like, you're right, it's terrible. Like, oh, did you like that part? Oh, okay. Because let me tell you about how much it's horrible! And you start crying. Um, yeah. Okay, so this oh. is the first time I ever actually saw a uh, video game uh, acknowledgement of uh, someone's menstrual cycle, ever, and I was really impressed. With it. Yeah! I thought that was pretty cool. Um, 
Yeah, no, to the point that I was like, wait, what does that word mean? <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, like uh, I'm pretty sure that's that's one of the few games about... Uh, <laughs> like, what is a period? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> Video games have beaten this knowledge out of me. A period is something that noobs have. <laughs> 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 is what is what video games have taught me. <laughs> That's a horrible t-shirt waiting to happen. <laughs> well, technically, like, a menage is, like, your noob period, because it would be, like, your first period. Yeah. Oh, God. Can, can we talk about my... Period. How many... <laughs> there are 136 people in chat. Let me tell you about my first period. It was Let's horrifying, it. because really? I didn't know what it was. Because I got mine, like, super early that, like, my mom, she wasn't expecting me to get my period at an alarmingly young age. Uh-huh. Um, so I, like, went to the bathroom and came out crying because I'm like, I'm pretty sure all of my insides are outside. <laughs> And my mom's like, oh, God, I have to teach you about periods. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is going to happen a lot. Forever. Well, until you're, like, maybe in your, like, early 50s. <laughs> yeah. Which, is, which counts as a lot throughout life. And then after that, it's going to um, suck even more. Menopause sucks. <laughs> I, um, uh, my first experience with uh, both, uh, kind of queer culture and feminism was in the punk scene when I was growing up in the 90s and I remember the one zine my friend Driveway Kate gave me had a review of uh, the Kini Kill album a Slater Kinney album in a big piece advocating the uh, the cup mm -hmm. uh, so and like 14 year old me was what? <laughs> Is that, like, I was like you put it in a cup oh no why did you do that? No. what? Oh, are you gonna keep it? oh you called the keeper I mean you're keeping it why? that's uh, yeah. That was what my voice sounded like at 14, apparently. <laughs> you sounded like the scratchy teen voice kid from uh, from The Simpsons. Hey, guys. I had a girlfriend. She killed me. So, <laughs> yes up, oh, Vogue says, wait, WTF is the cup. <laughs> <laughs> I came to watch Bioshock Infinite and learned about the Diva Cup in the Z. <laughs> that zine also uh, encouraged, because they were talking about, you know, like, period, like, positivity. They encouraged you to start making blood art with with, with the with your Keeper Cup. Uh, which I don't know if anyone, if anyone uh, who read that zine did, but I kind of want to meet the person who's like, and that's what got me started. <laughs> career as someone who makes uh, menstrual blood art. Ugh. I... To me, it's, like, not even, like, that it's, like, oh, it's menstrual blood. It's just, like, that's really, like, not clean. <laughs> it's not very hygienic. There's a punk band called uh, Perfect Pussy, mm -hmm. and the... They pr did a vinyl press of the lead singers uh, that included a tiny bit of the lead singer's menstrual blood. So it's like a clear vinyl with just this swirl of red in it you could get. Oh, that's so gross. <laughs> but kind of awesome. <laughs> like Super awesome. There was just a picture of her standing there with just a jar of blood. I was like, yep, there it is. The job to kill. Sorry about that, something started beeping in my living room. That's okay. The doors in the game right now are making beeping noises, so I just thought it was the really? doors. Yeah. Okay. Is it real life? <laughs> <laughs> that would be the worst thing if at the end of the world, Bioshock Infinite was just real life. Oh no. Everything would be terrible. I'll say this about Bioshock, uh, the Bioshock games. They really do create a world that you're not going to live in. Yeah, absolutely. Aw, oh, Elizabeth, you're so lonely. <laughs> Good thing I'm here to save the day. <laughs> yeah. 
One of the things I thought was interesting about this game was when people were like, you know, like a lot of the, the praise for the game, people were like, she's exactly like a Disney princess. I'm like, why is that? Why is that a good thing? Like, that hasn't been a really great thing in a very, very long time. Right. Disney princesses are like, I mean, for the most part, these incredibly stifling visions of a whole, like, it's just so many different tropes, like, w like, washed into each other. And I don't even mean, like, in the sense of just as far as, like, the way that they uh, view gender or and, uh, and femininity or anything, but just, like, it's just so kind of creatively been there and done that. Um, yeah, no, because even, like, the doe-eyed, like... Yeah. Songbird's the best. Yeah, Songbird's pretty cool. I kind of feel like the game didn't know exactly what to do with Songbird. Yeah. Um, this kind of shows up occasionally. I don't know. Yeah, like, I, if there were, um... If the DLC kind of explored Songbird a bit more, I think that would have been really cool. Instead of being like, oh god, but let me out. <laughs> Just close the door. Well, that was the whole thing. You were trying to get her out so you could live in her sweet floating, uh, <laughs> yeah. castle. Get out. This is finally. Finally, I can get some privacy. <laughs> I can have visions of Paris all my own. Who are you? Why did you come here? What? Wow, does she have asthma? That sounds like me. <laughs> that sounds like me when I'm like walking to the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she ran like 20 feet and is already like, ah! Wait! Ah! Uh, Songbird's so cute. Hurry! 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 Songbird is so awesome. The games, the Bioshock games really have great, these, you know, recurring enemy designs, like the Big Daddy. I actually really love the design of the Big Sister. Yeah. Too. It's just, like super gangly. Um, and Songbird, it's really, really well designed. So, like, uh, memorable. All this time? Why? Why did they put me in here? What am I? What am I? You're the girl who's getting out of this tower. Nice one, Booker. Uh, I forget what to do here. <laughs> Am I what did Dad in this game? I think you're just supposed to sit and watch. Oh. This way. Oh, our knees broke. <laughs> oh God. But it's cool because they were racist. <laughs> I can't see that shit. Was a slow burning gag. Someone in the chat saying I have excellent taste in music, which is true. Um, if you like Perfect Pussy, you should check out Meredith's old band Shoppers, which are equally really, really great. I actually kind of like them. I remember this part being really cool. Like with. The music going and having to run away from Songbird. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so he's holding the weight of another human being, too, presumably here. Right, absolutely. Uh, yeah, this part is really neat. Just, I mean, it's it's a glorified cutscene. I think it. Can you actually let go or anything? I don't think so. Yeah, it's a really great little cutscene. Um. If I was her, I would be like peeing my pants so badly. Maybe she is just far below. <laughs> just, just like just like of a stream of piss. <laughs> yeah.
Again, the slapstick cartoon nature of this game where, like, you're not totally just shattered into a... Oh, man. I love Songbird! Good time to call it. To call it, yeah. Okay. Is there a checkpoint you just passed, or? I think so. Wait, let me just finish that. Yeah, I'd say. Cutscene. You know what it is. You almost drowned. Yeah. You need to... I said I'm fine. Not in the water. That's not the land of the living. <laughs> That's the land of the fish. <laughs> Who are all actually dead. <laughs> dead <laughs> fish land. <laughs> Columbia sucks. Let's go. Okay, I, I, I won't be long, how, so. how old is Elizabeth supposed to be in this? Because I kind of wanted to be like this disaffected, like, Columbia sucks, man. Let's go. Let's go <laughs> I. I think she's like quite young. Where is she? Okay, now it's saving. So we're gonna we're gonna right. we're gonna wrap it up. Um, yeah, thanks for for joining us, everybody. Uh, yeah, thanks a lot. If you're in the chat room right now watching, uh, make sure to stop by streamfriends.tv. Um, you can check out some of the other games that we've played, and if you're watching from streamfriends.tv, you should catch us live and join our lovely chat room um, on twitch.tv slash streamfriends. Um, thanks for joining, Scott. This is actually a lot of fun and not, like, <laughs> I'm, maybe it's because, oh no, maybe now I'm just kind of like, you know what, maybe this isn't so bad, but then we'll get to, we'll play more, and <laughs> yeah. then I'll be like, wait, no, this is the worst! <laughs> I think that we are being very good about telling what we do and do not like about the game. Yeah. yeah. I think we are doing a very good job of not just ragging on it. I think that we're doing an okay job with this game that is going to go totally to shit. Anyway. Um, yeah. Yeah. We're doing a yeah. great job streaming. I think we're excellent. Okay. <laughs> Screw the rest. Get paid for this. I know. Go in the chat. Give us money. Yeah. You owe us. Uh, if you want to donate to our PayPal. Do they um... actually, have, actually have one? Uh. Oh, who? Stream Friends? I was just talking about you and me. <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. Cut, cut everybody off. <laughs> cut, cut them all out of this. They had nothing to do with this. <laughs> cut cut the, the middlemen. Cut the middlemen and women out. Um, so, yeah, and you can also... Uh, we have a brand new Twitter account that you should go follow. It's at Stream Friends. Um, and you can find me on Twitter at S-O-K-A-R-E-E-M-I-E. -E -E. And where can people find you, Scott? You can find me at at bombsfall at b o m b s f a l l. Awesome, and maybe we'll pick up where we left off next week. Sounds great. Awesome. I will see you then. Have a good All night, right. everyone. Bye. <laughs>